music, you just come forward. Amen. When you dance and things like that, come on, you can clap for that. Your DJs is supplying your music. Amen. You're welcome. Congratulations. All right, where's the mother of the baby? Wow, you're looking so ready for the next baby. Isn't that wonderful? All right, let's give her the honor and give her the mic first. Praise the Lord. I want to bless the name of the Lord this morning for the gift of life. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul and that of my household. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the victory he has given us. Our number has increased. That's why you can see baby Eliora here. God did it in a special way. Everything went smoothly. Amen. Praise the Lord. Baby Eliora. Amen. He's joining the Jewish clan in the house. We have the Eldimas, the uh, Tehillas, Jemimas, Ananiel. How many Jewish people in the house? The Daniels. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Um, uh, it's been a great journey and a marvelous one on our side. God has been great. God has been faithful. God has blessed us. And uh, it's a lot of testimony. The journey has been long. But uh, God has been faithful to us. I want to say thank, want to thank the pastors, church, brothers and sisters, family members that have been uh, by our side all this while. It wasn't easy because we just moved here and uh, eight months ago, and the baby is nine months or one month old today. So you can imagine it's. Uh, it's been tough and hard on our side, but I want to thank the church for being uh, here for us and I uh, want to say thank you very much. So, thank you guys. Praise the Lord. He said it wasn't easy. I thought he said the delivery wasn't easy because his wife did not say anything about the delivery. It was easy for her, but for him, it wasn't easy. So tell us about the testimony the night before the baby was born. I want to hear that, and the people of God need to hear that. Of, uh, the night, the night before the baby came, I went, I went out, came back. I was so tired, so uh, I was trying to catch a sleep, and uh, I had a dream that the baby was coming, and I was driving. No, we were at home, and I was driving my wife to the hospital, and the baby was coming on the way, and then I stopped and I was shouting, "Help!" And people were asking. Somebody was yelling at the other side, "What is it?" What help do you need? I said, hospital. And then I got up. My wife was already in labor, at least uh, four hours ago. And uh, she said, it's really hard. I said, no, mama, let's go. I don't want the baby to come when we are on the way. So we went to the hospital. We stayed there for about uh, 12 hours before the baby came. And uh, it was a great experience. So I want to thank God that the baby did not come on the way. She came at the right time. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Isn't it wonderful the way God will reveal it to you in a dream? That it's time to go. Amen. Praise the Lord. So you see how Joseph and his wife were in the same spirit and God revealed some things to Joseph. And in his dream, God revealed it to him and said, wake up, let's go. Isn't that wonderful? So I want us to stand up. We're going to, uh, we're going to pray for the baby. I want us to know that uh, baby dedication... Is a very very serious thing and we expect people to dedicate their children but it is not a religion why do we dedicate children we dedicate them because the parents believe that it is god who gave them the child and based on their knowledge of the word of god they want this child to grow up in the same way therefore they bring this child and hand it over back to god who gave the child to them Praise the Lord. That is why we don't baptize babies. Because baptism is a different ball game. It's a different thing. But 
children were brought to Jesus and Jesus took them in his hands and he blessed them. Hallelujah. The Bible declares in the book of uh, Proverbs 3 from verse 1 it says, My son, do not forget the things that I have taught you if you want to have a good, long and satisfying life. Closely follow my instructions. Never forget to be truthful and kind. Hold these virtues tightly. Write them deep in your heart if you want favor before God and before man and a good reputation for judgment and common sense. Then trust the Lord completely and don't ever trust yourself. In everything you do, put God first and he will direct and crown your efforts with success. That is the Amplified Version. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we have the family of uh, Brother and Mrs. Guanka. Amen. 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 I want to pronounce it very well so I don't miss it. Amen. Amen. Who have brought their child. Now I want us to know that as uh, you come here this day rejoicing that the primary responsibility to raise this child in a God-fearing manner lies in your hands as the parents of this child that God has given you. And just as uh, Samuel was brought to the temple by his mother to be dedicated, by the parents to be dedicated, they handed the child Samuel to Eli. And it is a very sober moment for commitment and responsibility which you have. And therefore we have this charge to you. Brother Kevin and Virginie, do you, uh, let me give you the charge the way I have it written here, amen. Do you covenant before God and before man to raise baby Eliora in the fear of the Lord and to cause her to grow in the knowledge of the Lord if you do say yes I do may the Lord help me yes I do may the Lord help me amen, amen. the second charge is to the church because as a church we constitute a sphere of influence by the things we do by the programs we run in the church we create an environment that is conducive for this child to grow in the fear of the Lord and I want us to know that the Lord will hold us also responsible if we do not create a good environment for good and sound Christian learning so to the church and especially to all those in the uh, teaching department the children's teaching department do you covenant before God and before man to help baby Eliora to grow in the fear of the Lord. If you do say yes, we do. May the Lord help us. Now the next charge is to the immediate family who came. I see you invited a lot of good people to come with you and surely uncles, aunties, cousins who will see this child growing up. And the things that you do around this child or the things that this child hears you people doing will influence her commitment to God. And so the charge is to you who have come here as a, uh, as a cloud of witnesses, do you, uncles, aunties, loved ones and friends, commit before God and before this congregation to create a good environment for good Christian learning so that this child may grow in the fear of the Lord. If you do say yes, I do, may the Lord help me. Amen. Amen. So what we're going to do next, we're going to pray and bless this child. You're going to stretch forth your hands and you're going to pray for this child. To bless means to pronounce good will. Amen. <clears throat> to pronounce good things concerning this child, concerning her health concerning her schooling concerning how she'll grow up tomorrow and so you want to pray those good things into her life 
And the Bible says, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Amen. Amen. And God has given you life in your tongue to speak life into this baby. So stretch forth your hands and begin to pray. Just pray, pray, pray for baby Eliora. You can say simple things like, Lord, bless this child. You can say simple things like, Lord, let this child grow in the fear of the Lord. You can say, Lord, let this child not be sick. Let this child develop normally. Let this child be the best student when she grows up and goes to school. And we want to pray and say, Lord, let this child be a blessing to the parents. Let this child bring deliverance. Pray and say, let this child be a blessing to humanity. Yes, pray. God has given you the power to pronounce those blessings for this child. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we come before you and we say thank you for this baby. Father, thank you, Lord, for blessing this family with baby Eliora. Father, I thank you because even before she was formed in her mother's womb, you knew her. And Lord, I thank you, O God, because at the appointed time, you caused her to come out into this world. Father, I pray that this family, O God, shall forever bless the name of the Lord for the day when this child was born. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that this child will bring happiness, will bring joy, will bring peace, will bring hope to this family in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that this child will be healthy. Lord, I come against every infection in the name of Jesus. Lord, that this child will be protected by God Almighty, wherever she goes. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you will cause all her organs to function normally, even as you created them before the foundation of the earth. Father, we speak good health to every tissue, every organ, every cell, every system in the body in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask, O oh God, that your hand be upon this child, that the mark of Christ be set upon this child. Wherever this child shall go, O oh God, they will see the mark of Christ. Father, I pray that every man, every woman who has even fought evil against this child, when they see this child, O oh God, that which they meant for evil will be turned to good. Amen. Lord, their hands will not be able to perform their enterprise in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your angels encamp around this child. Amen. On the playground, wherever she goes, in the daycare, at school, let the angels of God encamp around her Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you bless her mind and bless her brains with the capacity to learn to learn quickly and to excel to greater heights in the name of jesus Amen. father may she bring solutions to mankind Amen. let her excel in the sciences in the name of jesus oh god i pray that lord the story of this child will be heard abroad even abroad all over the world that the success of this child will be known in the name of Jesus Amen. father I pray that when this child grows up and has the knowledge to make the decision to follow Christ Lord I pray that it will not be a difficult one Amen. Lord I pray that the Spirit of the Lord will minister to our heart and that Lord she will not be carried by the doctrines of the world and the systems of the world but Lord she would declare that Jesus Christ is Lord Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. and Lord she will preach the gospel in her own time yes. I pray for the family Lord I pray for the husband and the wife through whom this child came Lord that you give them the wisdom that they need everything that they need of they have need of to raise this child in the fear of the Lord so that this child will fulfill the purpose for which you brought this child into this world. Give the parents wisdom. 
Give the parents wisdom that comes from God. Give them direction. Father, I pray that you will provide all that they have need of physically, materially, and financially. They shall never lack. They shall never lack in the name of Jesus. And Lord, at the end of it all, the glory and the honor will be given to you. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, and we give you the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is baby Eliora. Amen. So when she's preaching somewhere and becomes a great evangelist, remember that you also prayed for this baby. The Lord bless you.